what's going on YouTube my name's Anthony and I'm doing a tree ID video on the glorious sugar maple and what better time of year to do it than in the fall when all the bright colors come out the sugar maple's Latin name is Acer saccharinum and the trees can live up to 200 years old and they can grow up to 150 feet tall they're also known as rock maple because of the terrain that they like to grow on. They like very rocky areas and they like steep hills. Sugar maples range is southeastern Canada and the northeastern quadrant of the United States. Now how you tell the sugar maple leaf is on the center of each lobe, each tip is a little bit extended at the end, unlike the other maples. The sugar maple is best known for a couple reasons. One is maple syrup production, as it produces the most sugar in its sap. The sap starts to come in the late winter when you have the first initial thaw, in about mid-March, and the sap begins flowing through the trees, and then the trees are tapped to produce the maple syrup. The sugar maple is also known for its dominant color in the early fall, where you get all these nice bright red colors. The nice red color of the sugar maples come in early and they precede the other fall colors like the yellows, the browns and the oranges. Sugar maples have a high shade tolerance so they can grow really well when the forest canopy is very tall and they don't get much light. Sugar maples don't thrive that well in urban areas because they don't tolerate pollution that much. So other species are used like silver maple and Norway maple. Also known as hard maple, the sugar maple's wood is very hard very dense and it's used for bowling pins and to create the laneways for bowling alleys and also the flooring for basketball courts. The sugar maple is a state tree of Wisconsin, Vermont, New York State and West Virginia. The sugar maple is also known as a really good firewood species and its heat rating is compared to oak but it has about half the trying time of oak. Now let's get in close and look at the bark of this tree because this tree can be a little hard to sort out and you're trying to identify it because it has two styles of bark now first of all the bark is relatively flat but it generally doesn't have any symmetrical ridging with the bark but sometimes it does you can see maybe a little bit of this side of the tree looks like some symmetrical bark but generally it tends to look like this it looks like a fold and then you have like a little raised lip on the side right you can see that all up and down here you can see a bit there and you can almost stick your fingers in the ridges and if you get really good at understanding the difference between the maples you can tell the way the branches come off of the trunk you can tell by their form how the sugar maple is sometimes the branches will just jut out and sometimes they'll kind of curve up and then they'll hug the side of the tree and then they'll go up and then they'll extend out As you can see, this tree's got a few different colors to it. Outside, it looks red, but inside, it looks all yellow. There's another one here, and you can just see some of the leaves starting to turn brown, and they're getting ready to fall off. Here's some more examples of the asymmetrical sugar maple bark. As you can see here, some of that smoother bark that I was telling you about. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, and all that good stuff.